Coach, yeah. Open it up with a brief statement for us, please. Yeah, I was. Um, we just needed to play somebody in a different jersey tonight, and uh, we, we, you know, we had about five or six guys that have not, never put that jersey on before, and so uh, they're a little anxious, a little nervous, uh, and you can tell our last our couple last couple practices have been awful. Um, we've done a really nice job up until that time, but uh, the only way you can get better now is by playing some people and some of those things. So I thought we did some really nice things. I love the way we share the ball. Um, I think the defensive intensity of this group is going to be really good. Um, I thought we would shoot the ball a little bit better, but I think that's a lot of that was anxious and nerves and <laughs> a lot of guys uh, first time being able to, uh, again, put that, that uniform on. So um, we did what we wanted to. It's part of the process. I've talked about it before. This is just the first step of a process that we had to take tonight. And so uh, we move on and we get ready and get ready for Friday. Were you pleased with the, the defensive intensity, the pressure, yeah. the turnovers you're able to create? Yeah, I, I came in with three things that I wanted to check off. I, I wanted to see what happens. One of them was the starting group. Um, I, I kind of went back and forth. I thought our starters have to be able to create energy and passion to start the game. So we continue that. And I thought the first group first group did a great job of it. Secondly, I was looking at our defensive slides. I wanted to make sure that, that the guys knew the slides. And I thought that's one thing we did, regardless of where the ball went. Um, last, last few years, even some veteran teams, we've struggled with our slides early. Where I had to change some things, so I was really happy with some of the slides. And then three, I wanted to get, I wanted to see how guys that had never wore a Georgia State uniform how they would react. And so I got those things checked off. That's the only three things I wanted. By halftime, I was able to see that, and then, then the rest of it was just, you know, kind of let them just play. How did? Uh, what were the things that Jeremy did well in his first start? You know, Jeremy's going to be a good player. I mean, you know, Jeremy's an inside, outside player. Again, Jeremy's a much better shooter than what you saw. Uh, um, but what he is, he's a walking double-double. He, he rebounds the ball well. He'll, you'll see him. These type of numbers, you'll see this a lot from Jeremy. He rebounds the ball well. Uh, he'll score the ball a little bit. I thought, again, a little nervous, a little anxious. Jeremy hadn't put a uniform on in a long time to be able to play. Uh, but he's a very talented young man that's got a chance to be really special. So uh, he's just got to get his timing back. Again, what I love is that he not only can rebound, but he can initiate the break and bring the ball up the floor. And so, um, um and for Jeremy to play 24 minutes, we've been on him about his turnovers. And uh, for him to only have two turnovers, and I don't care if we're playing sisters or the poor, he can't, he, you know, he's been turning the ball over. And I thought he did a nice job of taking care of the ball today. Um, and Jeff Thomas coming in, you know, really, he, a lot of big expectations on him last year. He didn't get to play. Yeah. Coming in this year, how did he? You know, I think you know he missed some wide open shots. Jeff's not gonna miss a ton of shots. He, you know, it's weird. He reminded me a little of RJ when he just started missing a lot of those shots. And RJ, if you're listening to this, you look, he, he, you saw your protege. Look, he looks just like you out there. Uh, again, instead of ball faking, I just uh, you know, uh, and he's got that light skin thing going on a little bit. So uh, he he looked like my son running up and down. I thought you know I thought he was supposed to be with the Celtics, but he was over here playing, especially going uh, one for seven. So people talk about we missed RJ. No, we didn't. We got him right here. And, uh, <laughs> Wearing number uh, 30. So, uh, but I do want to talk about this guy here. I thought this guy w was terrific. And, and, and I say this, and you guys heard me say this at the tip off luncheon. The key to our success is Isaiah Dennis. I had given my, the keys to my car, and I'd given them to uh, Devontae White when I first got here. He was our point guard. And I said, lead us to where we need to go. Then I gave him to Ryan Harrell. And then Ryan's gone. Now the car, the keys are given now to Isaiah Dennis. Uh, this show runs with our point guards. When our point guards play well, we do well. And uh, and that's not adding any pressure on him. He's ready for this. He's, he's been here for three years. We've groomed him for this moment. Um, but this is a guy now that, that has to do the, the, their dirty work and lead us. And, and he's got the keys to the Georgia State uh, Mercedes right now. It's always been a Mercedes. <laughs> we drive top of the lines with our program. Top of the line programs. It's Mercedes. <laughs> Any other questions for Coach? Well, you know, the two things that I've always – if you've been here before, uh, I, I, the most disappointing thing is, again, we, we've got to be a better free throw shooting team and we got to take care of the ball. We had six, seven turnovers in the first half, and I, and I really got into them at, 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 at halftime. We can't have that, and we had one in the second half. So I was happy with the turnovers, but we, we will be getting a ton of free throws the rest of this week. So we've got to be a better free throw shooting team because we're going to get to the line a lot. What got you calm out there? What got you calm? Oh, kept me calm. Just the preparation. You know, we've been working hard all week. You know, it's been um, practice has been a struggle a little bit because you know, guys are anxious to play. But just um, just being prepared and stuff has really what kept us confident. Your baseline jumper looked good. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was a little relaxed. You know, just listening to what uh, Sully told me, just shooting the way up. So I wasn't scared to take it. 
Last year, he averaged around eight minutes a game, and now you're in the starting lineup. Like Coach said, he gave you the keys. So, how's that pressure? How's it feel? Uh, it's not. It's not much pressure. Like he said, they they groomed me for this. I've been here for three years. I watched Devonte White take care of this team. I watched Ryan Harrell take care of this team. So now it's my time to step up and help lead the team. Who impressed you out there tonight? Uh, Jeremy Hollowell, the freshmen too. Malik, Malik did very well. I think Austin Donison did well. He been battling an injury, but you know he came out today. And he showed up big with um, his energy and passion. Did Jeff remind you of RJ? He sure did. <laughs> yeah, he, Jeff is gonna be good. Y'all, y'all come to practice. You see Jeff, Jeff. Everything Jeff throw up in practice goes in. You know, like like Coach says, his first time putting a jersey on, so he was just anxious. When are you going to learn how to control your jumping and your dunking so you don't hit so hard on the court? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Me and Danica have been trying to work on that since last year. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> what personal goals did you set for yourself tonight and did you accomplish those? Uh, personal goals were, you know, to get my team involved and have no turnovers. You know, I didn't really accomplish that. I had one turnover, only had like four or three assists. So I, I could do better with that. And I want to rebound more. I did bad with rebounding. I only had one rebound. But I'm, I'm going to be on the boards the next couple of games. Any other questions for us, What's your expectations on the season? Expectations, you know, to go make it back to the NCAA tournament, win more than just one game, you know, go far and show everybody that we're just as good as a team as we were last year. Do you feel like your life practicing through high school all the way up to now has brought you to where, you're, where you are today? Yeah, you know, since since high school, all I've been winning is championships. I won a state championship my first year here. We won the championship. Next year, we won the championship, got to the tournament. So uh, all I know is winning. I'm just a winner. Last year, your time to shine came against Xavier, where you came into the game and played 21 minutes. You know, you stepped up for the team, got three major steals and eight points. At that moment, did you know that it was your time to lead the Keys this year? Uh, not at that moment. I didn't know who we was bringing in, you know, who was going to have. But at, at that time, I was just, being, I was just pretty confident because the coach had me prepared for that moment. You're one of the, I want to say one of the most, you're, you're the key player of the team, like Coach said, but also, I see you out there, you know, I see you trying to get the rebound, trying to get the dunks, and then I see you, you're up by 30 points already, and I see you on the bench sitting there standing up for Jeff to finally hit a three. You know, um, what's that like? Like, how does that feel knowing, how are you such an overall team player? Really? Uh, it's pretty natural. Like I said, my first year here, I, I didn't really play that much, or my second year, not at first, you know, I was cheering on guys like Ryan Harrell and Devontae White. You know, I've I, I always been a team player, and that's what kept me on this team, just being a team player. But whether I play one minute or whether I play 20 minutes, just, you know, encouraging guys and making sure that team get the win.